Hello, I am Kim, and I am a part of the Dynamics 365 Business Central Essentials team here at Encore Business Solutions. In today's video, we will be reviewing the process of how to assign default dimensions to GL accounts. You may want to assign specific dimensions on certain GL accounts, so when transactions are entered, the dimensions are automatically assigned or throw an error as a reminder to attach the specific dimension before posting. This will save time on entries as well as maintain consistency. We'll start by navigating to the chart of accounts under finance and chart of accounts. Alternatively, you can search for it in the tell me bar. I have my chart of accounts filtered to my account category expense. We'll start by selecting whichever account that you would like to assign the dimension to. Go to account and hit that dimension single. Dimensions multiple is used if you select more than one account and want to assign the same criteria to all of those accounts. Within this page, there are a few areas that you would need to fill out. The dimension code, you would enter the dimension itself. The dimension value code, you would enter a value if applicable. In value posting, you have a few options. Blank, this would not present any restrictions on what can and cannot be selected. Code mandatory, a user must select any of the dimension values permitted within the specified dimension. An error will show if the dimension is not selected prior to posting. Same code, the dimension code and dimension value must be indicated. The GL account will require both when this GL is selected. This sets the default values and makes them a required value. No code, the dimension would be considered blocked. A user cannot opt to add the dimension or dimension values on the specified criteria. In this example, I have the department code as well as the admin value code. There is no value posting. So we will go through some examples of that after I go through the setup. For the miscellaneous, I have department and that's a code mandatory. For depreciation, I have same code with these two criteria. Let's take a look at how this applies. We'll enter a new purchase invoice. Enter your vendor details. We'll indicate type GL. And we'll start with that office expense. When I look at my dimensions. Admin is entered for me. Because the value posting was set to blank, I can change this and it won't present any errors. For GL account 61500, look at what's entered here. You'll see that nothing is brought through. But for this specific GL account, I've set code mandatory for department. Let's let's check it out if we try to post it without. An error persists advising that for this GL account, we need to indicate a department dimension. We'll insert that here, and you'll see now when I preview the posting, there are no errors. For our depreciation, this is the same code example. I've entered the business group and it is required to be office. Now when I switch this and preview the posting, an error persists and it tells me that the dimension value code must be office. That being said, all the errors have been corrected and it's ready for posting. You can assign default dimensions to any master records. It is not limited to GL accounts. You can add these to vendors, customers, items, and more. 
This concludes how to assign default dimensions to GL accounts in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.